Hi, so we are down to our last activity in your Bicentennial Activity Kit, and this is the Button Whirly Gig. Now I've kind of pushed my mess over to the side, and we're working without a real surface here, but you only have a couple of items in here. So in your bag, you have the instructions, and you also have a piece of yarn, and you have a button, if I can get the button out of the bag. Now I've also rescued my toothpick from our boat activity just in case I need help getting this yarn into the button. Okay, so you will take one end of your yarn, doesn't matter which end, and you're going to thread that yarn through one of your buttonholes. Now that sounds really easy, but this yarn might be a little bit thick to get through the buttonhole. And so I'm just using this toothpick to push through just enough yarn to the back that I can grab it and pull. Now you're going to take the same end, okay? And you're going to hold your button up like this and you're going to put this end through the hole that is diagonal from your first end. Okay, let me see if you can see this. All right, so I have four buttonholes and I'm going to use the one that's diagonal to the first one, okay? So again with the toothpick, because this yarn is just a little bit thicker. So, you know, kids, when they moved here in the 1800s, they didn't have electronics to play with, certainly, and they maybe didn't even have a whole lot of toys, but yarn was pretty available or some kind of thread or anything like that, and maybe there was an extra button lying around that they could get hold of. Take your yarn, take both ends of your yarn, and just tie a knot. I just loop mine around my finger and then push the two ends through the loop and pull, and that should be just enough to secure it. Okay, now you want to take the looped end of the yarn, you're going to pull, what you want is your button to be in the middle of your yarn, okay? And then you're going to hold either end of your yarn, and I am not very good at playing with this toy at all, so maybe you'll be better. But what you want to do is you want to wind up this button on the yarn, and it's called a whirly gig because it will start to make noise. Once you get all wound up, then you want to gently pull and push back in and it will start to make a sound. So I know this looks really crazy and obviously when you do this, you wanna make sure somebody is not standing too close to you, but go ahead and then you can push it back and forth. And there's your whirly gig.